I'm Mercutio. The day is hot and we must take a rest. We have been walking since morning. There are Capulets over there. We must not engage with the patron house of Hades. When did you become the god of cowardness? You're such a panty waste. We must kill those sneaky mules. Lest you forget you hail from the house of Poseidon. Would the mighty earth shaker quiver before a foe? You think so little of me? No, no. Your heat rivals that of the sun god, Apollo. I'm as fit to fight as any other may be, but I choose to keep my life. By Zeus, here come the Capulets. That is as much concern as Hephaestus to Zeus and Hera. Good day, gentlemen. A word, if you will. We shallant entertain the likes of you, son of the two-faced trickster Janus. What nonsense. My words are as clear as the skies ruled by Zeus. Dost thou not see the cotton clouding the sky? Mercutio, where is Romeo? Ah, here comes our man. Romeo, you villain! I will end you and send your vile soul to the underworld. Tybalt, the reason that I love thee, but love thee better than thou canst divide, Till thou shalt know Your the reason of my love. Excuse the crimes ye have committed. Turn and fight me, coward. Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission. Must I do everything myself? On guard, Tiddle. What is your name? King of Cats. Your name must be Catulet. <laughs> By Hades, how dare you dishonor my name? Mercutio! No! I will avenge you! Face me, Sybil! Dreaded is the day that Hades gains another soul! I damn you to his domain! Hades be considerate and allow us to have this door. Romeo, take like Hermes. This tale shall surely reach the council almighty. If they dare to catch you, you will surely be decapitated for your crimes. God speed to you. God speed to you as well. Not Romeo, Prince. He was Mercutio's friend. His fault concludes, but what the gods decree? The life of Tybalt. And for that, I will spare his life. However, the house of Montague and Capulet have forever been tainted scarlet, and punishment is absent. Romeo shall be banished from Athens forevermore, never to walk in these lands ever again. Oh, I, I come as a harbinger. Oh, what news, Bruce Thirst? The blood of the deplorable Tybalt has been shed. Can Olympias be so envious? Was none other than that imposter Romeo. We have seen me, nurse. This is not a jesting matter. My words are as true as the Oracle of Delphi, and I proclaim that Romeo hath been banished from Athens. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. This cannot be. Strap to the rock alongside Prometheus. Give me a head of snakes. Let the prince do whatever else he must in the name of justice. But don't forbid my dear Romeo from Athens. Oh, Tybalt, oh, Tybalt, to think the day I would see you dead. Oh, Romeo, why would you do such a thing? Will you speak well of him that killed your cousin? Shame on you, child. You have fallen for his face as Narcissus, and for his own, forgetting about the world around you. There is more to life than a pretty face. Dost thou wish me to turn my back upon mine own husband when he was only defending himself? Enough! Your father and mother are weeping and wailing over Tybalt's corpse. Will you go to them? If you shall, I can take you there. I shall not. However, I bid thee to seek out Romeo and tell him I come bid farewell. 
Stay in your chamber. I will conjure Romeo to hearten thee. By my word, he will be by thy side by night. Romeo, Romeo, come in. It has been a somber morning. Oh, father, what news has come? What is the prince's decree? What despair awaits me? The prince bestowed upon you a gift of leniency. Not body's death, but body's banishment. Turn me into a spider, or even a monster, or make me push a boulder up Olympus. But, by the gods, forbid banishment. Forevermore you are banished from Athens, but do not fret. There is much beauty in the outside world waiting for you. There is no world outside the city of Athens. Where even the gods keep an eye. The outside world is like Tartarus. Tartarus compared to the Elysium that is Athens. Death is better than the persecution. The prince has been so benevolent as to let you live. Did you take it for granted because you are heartbroken? All children are the same. Thou canst not speak of that I thou speak from wisdom and experience, you. child. All young men are blinded by love. Two battle wise men are blinded by their ego. Make yourself as scarce as Hippocrates. They are sure to take thee away if thou art seen. Who knocks so violently? I come bearing news from Lady Julian. Let me in. Ah, nurse. A relief it is to see you. Where is Sir Romeo? Lady Juliet yearns for his presence. She floods her chambers with so many tears that Hercules could have used her as a hose to clean the Agian stables during his twelve. No, no. This is too much to handle. I cannot continue on knowing my sweet Juliet is in damnation. Does thou have no sense? You will leave behind the woman whom you've married just hours ago. Does till death do us apart only have that shallow of meaning to you? Your matrimony means you two must work together to face your problems as one. You cannot just go killing yourself and leave her a widow, you impetulant fool. Go and visit your beloved wife and cure of her anguish. Your counsel could take years, wise friar, but we must make haste. I must take this news to Juliet, for it will soon be late. Go hence, good knight, and here stands all your state. Either be gone before the watch be set, or by the break of day disguised from hence. My dearest apologies, sir, but we have had no time to take the matter of marriage to our daughter. You see, a beloved kinsman passed recently, and we thought it ill fit to propose marriage to one who mourns. My condolences. It seems that in these times of pain, the concern of marriage cannot be your main. However, I do request that your daughter myself commends, for I request marriage before the coming weekend. For your content, I shall try to propose this idea to Julia. I, wife, go to Julia's chambers and tell her of Paris's love, and let her know she is to be married on... His is the morning, my sweet Juliet. I must leave now. I'll be found and executed for my crimes. Oh, why must you leave in such haste? I wish I could give you some baby's pomegranate seed so that you'll be forced back every six months. Juliet, have you risen and shined? Nurse? Don't worry, we shall meet again, Juliet. Goodbye, Juliet. His is the morning, my sweet Juliet. I must leave now. I'll be found and executed for my crimes. Oh, why must you leave in such haste? I wish I could give you some of Hades' pomegranate seed so that you'll be forced back every six months. Juliet, have you risen and shined? Nurse? Don't worry. We shall meet again, Juliet. Goodbye, Juliet. Okay.